Hi friends, my name is Chetan Pudar and today I am going to be talking to you about an indicator which is called as Stochastics. Stochastics is one of the most popular indicators. It is very very widely used. Let us see the reason why. Like I said, my name is Chetan Pudar. I am a professional trader. I am also a trainer of investments, trading and how to make money in the stock market. I am based out of Mumbai, India. If you ever want to get in touch with me to know how um, to make money in the stock market, um, you can always write me a mail. I have got four pages on the internet. One of them is called as investments which is on facebook you can look it up you can also like it there is a lot of active content which i put on uh, in investments on facebook i also another uh, run three in other blogs one of them is called as investments which is a blog spot second is called as funny fish market which is wordpress and the third one is called as funny fish market which is also a blog spot so do write to me questions or queries and i will get back to you immediately stochastics was developed by George C. Lane in the late 1950s. The stochastics indicator is a momentum indicator. The stochastics indicator does not follow the price or the volume but follows the speed or the momentum of the price. It is important to remember that uh, since stochastics follows the speed or the momentum of the price, whenever you are designing a system or a process to trade stochastics, you have to keep this particular fact in mind. Now let me explain to you what momentum means that when the price is going up like this the momentum or the speed of this price action is going to be more here than it is here the momentum or the speed is going to actually decrease here it is based on the fact that momentum changes direction before the price so this is how stochastics look like uh, now in this following chart these are candlesticks and these are denoting prices this is where stochastics is drawn always it is a uh, momentum indicator with it is an oscillator it always oscillates between 0 and 100 80 is always considered to be the higher point 20 is always considered to be the lower point these are the two sensitive points 80 and 20 80 is always considered to be overbought and 20 is always considered to be oversold yeah 50 is always considered to be a neutral point where the moment the price is below 50, it is considered to be a bearish signal. The moment the price is above 50, it is considered to be a bullish signal. Now, stochastics always is an oscillator indicator and it has two bands. The band 1 is called as person K and band 2 is called as person D. Person K and person D basically keeps on oscillating between 0 and 100. So, stochastics shows the location of close relative to the high low range over a set number of periods usually 14 periods are used yeah so the periods could be in minutes it could be in hours it could be days but it is always 14 periods you could change it but uh, this is what uh, was initially used it considers the highest and the lowest point in 14 period range very quickly let's have a look at the formula the formula is person k is equal to 100 into bracket C minus L14 divided by H14 minus L14. If you don't understand the formula, it is fine. What is more important is how to trade stochastics. Person D, on the other hand, is simply the three period moving average of person K. That's how simple the formula is. Stochastics is not designed to follow the price or the volume, but it follows the momentum of the price change. This is the most important. It follows the momentum of the price change. It is a momentum oscillator which is used to measure overbought and oversold condition. I, like I said to you earlier, it is a obose indicator. Overbought, oversold. It is unique because it only uses high, low and closing prices. It does not use volume to generate signals. The oscillator value always ranges between 0 to 100. Yeah, which means the value never falls below 0 or goes above 100. 80 is always considered to be overbought and 20 is always considered to be the oversold threshold when stochastics is above the 50 line it is considered to be bullish and below the 50 line is considered to be bearish that's how simple it is reading above 80 for the 14 day stochastic oscillator would indicate that the underlying security was trading near the top of its 14 days high low range reading below the 20 occurs when a security is trading at the low end of its high low range like I said, it consists of two lines, person A, K and person D. Person K is essentially the moving average of the trading range. Person D is the moving average of person K. There are two types of stochastics that we have. There is something which we call as fast stochastics. 
and there is something which is called as slow stochastics. Fast stochastics is calculated this way. Fast stochastics person K is the per basic person K which was calculated earlier and person D of that is the person three point moving averages of person K. What you need to notice is that person K is always going to be choppier than person T because person D is actually only the moving average of person K. So let us understand how slow stochastics is calculated. Slow person K is equal to fast person K smoothed by three periods, simple moving average, which is basically the person D of the original formula. And slow person D is three period simple moving average of slow person K. So very quickly, let's have a look at how we are going to use stochastics to uh, trade. Consider selling the stock when the indicator moves above the 80 levels. Conversely, consider buying the stock when it is below the 20 line and is starting to move up with increasing volume. Transaction signals also occur when person K line crosses through the person D line. Price and momentum diversions. When the price and the momentum indicator shows diversions, with different directions you can know that the momentum of the price is going to start slowing down so very quickly let's have a look at how we are going to trade um, stochastics the moment we see that stochastics is moving above the 80 which is here this is the point where we are going to sell the stock because this is called as oversold yeah which is at this point and similarly the moment stochastics comes down below 20 this is the point where we are going to buy the stock yeah this is called as overbought which is here so very simple trading strategy sell when it is oversold and buy when it is overbought another way of trading stochastics is is this way that the moment person k crosses over person d this is the point where you actually buy the stock which means this point is where you are going to buy the stock and subsequently when it is going to cross over this is the point where we are going to sell the stock let's do it again this is the point where we are going to buy the stock this is the point where we are going to sell the stock which would subsequently be here The third and the most powerful way of trading stochastics is by looking at the divergence. Yeah. Now uh, let me show you very quickly how divergence occurs. If you look at the scenario here, yeah, here the price seems to be going up, but here the price actually seems the stochastic st starts to be moving down. There is a divergence which is happening between the price and the stochastics. And whenever there is a divergence which is happening between the price and the stochastics, it is eminent that the price is going to start coming down. So these are the three ways of trading stochastics. One is by overbought and oversold situation. Second is whenever stochastics cross above and below. And the third is by looking at diversions between the price and stochastics where eventually the price will start coming down. So if I have been able to add value to your knowledge and learning, do post your comments, questions or doubts on YouTube below and subscribe to the channel. I will be putting on a lot of videos. Do suggest if you need any particular type of video explanation on any subject regarding trading. For regular feeds on education, do like and follow me on Investments, Facebook, Investments on Blogspot, Funny Fish Market on Blogspot and Funny Fish Market on WordPress. Thank you. Uh, I really appreciate your time.